Hello everybody! Welcome back to the SB Game Fun channel. We are continuing with our uh, uh, sneak job into these the, uh, not the Hope, yeah the Hope, the Hope spaceship here on Outer Worlds. We're playing games, we're having fun. Alright folks, and we're, we're spazzing out, that's what we're doing. All right, so without further yapping from me, let's continue with our quest. I think our objective, we're going to move through that area right there. I think we did everything that we thought we were going to do over here, right? Yes, we figured out these robots already. Okay, so. And I don't want to go there. So let's come out here. Boom. Boom. That ladder goes up. All right. Can we can we hack this? Yes, we can. But let's go ahead and crouch so we can not get caught. All right. So open. Up. Oh, there, these creatures are, these sprats are rabid. Oh, no. What, what gun am I using here? What is this? Rabbit sprat. That's my, that's my long rifle. Okay, I'm going to use the long rifle. No, I'm not going to, I don't. Which gun? Because they might be coming. They got the drop on us. Oh, my God. Ho, 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 ho. Oh, my gosh. Look at the size. Oh my god, I, I literally froze and I just, I just mash, button mashed the, <laughs> the trigger. <laughs> Look at the size of that thing. Holy cow, mega sprat. What does he have? Oh my gosh, this thing is gruesome. Well, in size. Oh my gosh, look at it. Oh. Holy nuts, man. Scared the crap out of me. I thought it was a small little guy. It turned out to be a gigantosaurus. Holy cow. Oh, no, I gotta go up. Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? Oh my gosh. Never ever getting in one of those pods. Oh my god, what is this place? Is this where they dumped all the dead bodies? Or at least is this where Phineas attempted to Ooh, flamethrower. I'll take it. Attempted to revive people? Oh my gosh, it's some it's a jump come on I'm getting it and taking everything oh Lord have mercy look at this oh look there's a uh... oh there's several okay let's read let's read the one on the ground first uh, old log entry I don't know what in the void just happened so I'm writing it down in case I'm going insane pulled the guy out of the pod his arm got all clammy Rubbery almost. I poked at it for a bit and it started to effing liquefied like it was made of water. Stuffed him back in as in quick as I could, but the rest of him ain't in a good way. Don't think I'll be don't think he'll make it. This better not be a a freaking trend or after all this we're gonna starve anyway, Frank. Oh my gosh, I think the crew was trying to figure out what 
what to do. Examine. Engineer's log. CE-54. Okay, I, I give up. This Civil War nonsense is exhausting. Blood everywhere. Every time I turn around, another part of the ship has been sealed off. How the heck am I... How the hell am I supposed to do my job if the captain locks all the darn doors? Freak it. I'm gonna find a way to lock myself in a hibernation chamber and they can wake my ass up when we arrive at the colony. Have fun cleaning your freaking floors from now on, boneheads. Uh, Thurston Stallwood, custodial engineer, license 3464-8432. Well, I take it the... Uh, Custodian did not like what was going on. God, this is a mess. Holy cow. They went... Oh, no. They went through this entire hibernation chamber. I don't know if these people are dead. Okay, so I think our only choice is to go up. Man, it looks like I may have to go loud. Can I reload? Alright, let's do this. Crouch down, folks. Crouch down. What the heck? Where is that? Real quick save. There's a door right there. We can sneak through that door. But there are guys both left and right. But we'll be in costume for a little bit. So let's see if we can get away with it. I'm going to loot where I get a chance. These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? No. That's odd, because my programming would indicate that when forced to confront the idea of self-death, organics prefer... Oh, I see. Yes, never mind. The weight of this is almost too much, isn't it? Okay. Chocolate bars? Okay, let's do this quickly, run back. Oh my gosh. Has to be a better way to do this, man. I just can't move fast or a lot. Oh, look, there's a thing over here. Let's uh, read the terminal. Um, unauthorized. We've read those before. Let's continue. Manual log 5122 by Hunt D. Let's read that. Alas, Mamo Mamochka. I failed. The tomatoes die on their stalks. Something must be wrong with the soil. Oh, I can't do it in Russian. We have a month of rations. The crew talks of cannibalism. Oh my gosh. Is that why they opened up the Oh, no way. They must have opened up all those those uh, hibernation chambers to get people so they can eat. Oh, my God. We have devolved. My Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits and to bar the way from those too far gone. At night, while my stomach grumbles, I fear I, too, might stray towards that dark path. But I think of our Lucas asleep in his pod and then I think of all those other sons and daughters and mothers and fathers. If I woke up in Halcyon and my family had been devoured by these ghoulish men, I will steal my resolve. I, m I will resist. Oh lordy. Lordy. One continue. Manual Law 5141 by Vol Volkov A. The physical effects of starvations are well documented. 
but we never learned about the toll they take on your mind. The things you hold true become walls between hunger and satisfaction. The difference between right and wrong blurs. I told Frank we'd have to eat about a third of the colonists in order to survive our journey. Oh my gosh, eat a third? When we still had rations, that seemed impossibly unjust. Tens of thousands of innocent people to save 24. Now I'm not so sure. Oh, Lord, have mercy. Automated audio transcript. Hunt. Attention all crew. I don't know who let Frank Nolda out of his cell, but he is now an enemy of the ship. Hunt W. Anyone in league with him will be imprisoned for the duration of our journey. Anyone caught tampering with the cold storage pods will be frozen, and upon our arrival in house on you will be turned into the authorities. I am locking off the cold storage bays. Frank, if you can hear me, there's still time to turn yourself in, please. Oh my gosh, we have devolved into ghoulishness. Message chamber, exchange T4548. Hunt W. Rezzy, can you get us to Halcyon? Um, I've been working on it. Can you get us there? I have to, Captain. Good. Meet me on the bridge. We're making our last stand there. Wait. What about Donna? She's... She won't be joining us. What the heck? What, what happened? I'll fill you in when you get there. Hurry. Okay. Crap. I can't believe this is happening. Oh my goodness. This whole thing just went bonkers. They're eating each other. Oh. Not good. Not good at all. Okay, let's do this quick. Retro rockets? What is that? Pick up right. I don't know what that is, but I'll take it. I'm going to stand still and scope around because I can. Okay, nothing here. Come across. Anything here? Oh, there's a room up there. So let's go out. Reset our. I think I'm a jiggy. Boom. Now we just got to come all the way to the last door. Come on, you two. Get in here. Okay. Where are we? Oh, another, another, uh, data pad of some sort. Let's read it. Mama, Wilhelm, Lucas, forgive me. Frank offered me a tiny piece. Oh my gosh, Donna, she fell. She fell. It tasted like, it doesn't matter what it tasted like. It was delicious. I loved it. Let it be known that I broke the lock to my personal quarters, not Wilhelm. I'll die in here, and that is my choice. Oh no, she chose, she ate human flesh but she was so hungry she, her brain told her she loved it even though it what it fought in her brain I don't know if she locked herself in her quarters because she felt that she was now bunkoid or whatnot that's been sealed okay I'm I'm way beyond. Okay, it's right over there. Oh. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit, I am curious to wake him. Well, at the very least, this should be interesting. Okay, let's do a quick save. I don't see any enemy, but let's clear the room before we go down that aisle. Oh, look at that. What's right there? It's probably our way out or another way in. Okay, let's loot. Let's loot. They can't us out. Okay, what's down here? What is down here? Holy cow. Where is this? What 
is this place? It's a one-way drop down, it looks like. From, from where I don't know where it comes from. So, anyhow, at any rate, I'm screwed. Oh. Oh, no. Uh-oh. I think I came down, and now I'm screwed. Yep, it looks like I got too happy. And there's no ladders. Oh, there is a ladder. Okay. Okay, I don't know where I'm at. Oh. I'm right up here. That's an odd thing. Okay, that might be a place to hide, I think. Oh, there's something over there. Let's loot before we press any buttons. Where is it? Oh my gosh. Hmm. Okay, there's nothing down here. It's a cannibal ship. Holy cow. Anything here? Is this where I came from? Yep. Okay, I need to check over here. Is there anything here? Oh, look, there's stuff here. Mag pick, I'll take that. What is that? Energizing ointment? Nope, no need for that. More bullets? Oh. And I did check down here. There is nothing else. All right. Let's do this. Do a quick save. And I keep pressing that by accident. Lift my hands. Okay. UDL Hope Navigation Interface. View Bridge Status. Okay, let's check the comms real quick down the list. Auxiliary comms are available throughout the docking bay. Patch ADA, ADA in. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. I am ready to skip the ship. No, wait, before I do this, tell me, Ada. I'm, I really, am I really doing the right thing? Hang on, I need to take care of a few, some things, okay. Wait, are you leaving me with the Hope's computer? You have no idea what it's like to converse with him. Imagine, simulate another organic jostling your circuits when he tries to, I mean... I'll be ready when you are, Captain. What in the world? Did she just give us an innuendo? Okay, let's take a look at this. Before I go to comms, let's go to status. Power status auxiliary, communications auxiliary, continue. Logs, let's take a look at the logs. Automated transcript, audio transcript. R2580, let's read that. Open the freaking door, Will. No, you're killing us. Better you than the colonists. This is an idiotic. If you don't keep the ship afloat, will die anyway. A necessary risk, Rezzy. Is a necessary risk. Rezzy is plotting our course. The ship will fly true. You're gambling. With hundreds of thousands of people's lives and you're hanging your hand picking which few you'll consume in your madness. Darn it, Alexei. Find me a freaking drill. Okay, man, they're just crazy. Twenty five eighty two transcript. Captain, you hear that? Hear what? The drill stopped. Maybe they're taking a break. Maybe it broke. Maybe they're trying to get into the cold storage. If they get through before they starve, they'll outlast us. Keep working, Rizzy. I'll take care of it. Oh my goodness. Torrega R. Manual lock 5190. I think I'm the only one left. I don't know what Captain Hunt did down there, but he wasn't he hasn't come back. And they haven't used the drill. And I'm done. The course is set. I'm down to my last day of food, and I don't want to die like Donna did. Fly true, Hope. Oh my goodness, so I guess, I guess, I'm guessing Donna killed herself? Oh my god. 
rather than being the person to consume consume human flesh. Ooh, this is all nuts. Okay, hold on. I want to take a look at that real quick because this is where she ate, right? Yes, she loved it. So somewhere here, did she kill herself here? Oh, I missed this. Uh, I don't see any dead dead bodies, so I just have to assume. What is that? Oxycom? Uh, you know, I don't know what it is, but I'll take it. I'll sell it. Yeah, that'll hoard it like I've been doing. Okay, I don't see any dead bodies, so I don't know if they killed themselves, but it it's implied to me. So let's do this. Okay, let's uh, let's uh, let's hook up the comms. Arms. Patch Ada. Are you sufficiently prepared for the task at hand, Captain? Are we doing this now? Okay, let's do this. I'm ready to skip the ship. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. Oh, and Lord. also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? No. Skip the hope. <laughs> Oh, jeez, killed it. All right, here we go, here we go. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. I'm skipping it myself. Do it. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. I mean, affirmative. Skipping the hope in three, two, one. ADA. Does your captain seriously intend to do a micro jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred. Oh my goodness. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Hey, where's the unreliable? Oh, it's inside the, the ship dock, yeah. successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Uh-oh. Did we move? I hardly felt a thing. Was that an attempt of humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. Okay. Something tells me we're in trouble. There's still guards here, which means I'm probably going to have to fight my way out or bluff my way out. But I'm already at the end of this run, so this episode, so I'm going to see if, uh, you know what, before I open this door, I might engage in a conversation that I don't want to. So I'm going to call it right here, folks. Appreciate you joining me on this episode of The Outer Worlds. We have skipped the hope to Phineas Wells. So we will, on the next episode, we'll be talking to Phineas. But there's something foreboding going on here, so I don't know what's going on. So we'll find out on the next episode. Again, appreciate you joining me on this episode. If you like this kind of goofy content from me, make sure you click on subscribe and click on that bell to get notified when I upload new content. And I hope to see you folks back here on the next episode. Until then, have a good one.